Okay, we have here another integral from the Florida Integration B 2016, number 22. We've got the integral of arc sine of x all squared dx. Okay, this looks like a good case where we've got arc sine that we want to do integration by parts, but I think what I'm going to do actually, I think I want to do a u substitution just to kind of clean it up first. You probably don't need to, but I do like to do it this way. So we'll set u equal to arc sine of x. Then if you take sine on both sides, we can isolate x and we get x equal to sine of u. Take a derivative, then dx is gonna be just cosine u du. So we'll go ahead and substitute this here. This is our u, so this is just gonna become u squared. dx is gonna be cosine of u du. But what we have here is perfectly set up for integration by parts. I'm gonna differentiate u squared and integrate cosine of u using the di method over here to the right. So doing this, I'm gonna to wanna to differentiate this all the way down to zero. So doing it once, we're gonna get two u. Differentiate again, we get a two, and then do it one more time, derivative of two is just zero. Integral here of cosine, that's just gonna be sine of u. Another integral minus cosine u, and then for the last one, we're gonna have minus sine of u. So then the last row here is a zero. I don't need to worry about that, but we're gonna take our solution here on the diagonals and see what we have. So, so I think we'll just go top to bottom. So we're gonna have for the first part, u squared sine u. Second one, minus times minus is plus. So we have two u cosine u. And for the last one, we're gonna have minus two sine of u. And actually we've got the sine u in common here and here. So let's group these together where we can write this as u squared minus two sine u. And then we're almost ready to back substitute. We've got a value for u, we've got a value for sine u, but I want a value for cosine u. And so what I'm gonna do for that is let's draw the triangle and get our cosine u value really quick. Now you don't really need the triangle in this case because it always works the same way with sine and cosine, but let's do it really quick anyway. So our angle is gonna be u, and so we're saying sine u is gonna be like x over one. So we can do it like opposite over hypotenuse is x over one. And then the third side using Pythagorean theorem, we get one minus x squared. So doing that, we can get our cosine of u value that's just gonna be adjacent over hypotenuse or just square root one minus x squared. And so like I said, it always works out this way so it's easy to remember, but let's just go ahead and back substitute it. So here our u squared is gonna be arc sine of x squared minus two. Then we have our sine u is just an x. And then here two u, that's gonna be two arc sine of x. And we have our cosine value, just square root one minus x squared. Add a plus c on the end and that's it. Okay, there you go. Another one from Florida 2016. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.